My name's Emily Wilson. I currently care for my husband, Jim, who has a dementia called Lewy Body Dementia with Parkinson's. How I got involved with the movie or with the documentary is the Alzheimer's Society put my name forward um, because really of the journey that Jim and I have had over the last five years. We recognise that he's actually, he may be diagnosed five years, but he was shown the symptoms um, 11 years previously to this. And as I say, it was quite a shock five years ago when we got his diagnosis. We got great advice from his consultant, a neurologist, who actually sent us to the Alzheimer's Society and our solicitor. And if it hadn't been for them, we would have been lost. So during that time, as I say, I've learned a lot. We both have, my family has, and they, as I say, the Alzheimer's Society put me forward to do this film because of our experience. I, all the families I met, and even the ones that didn't make uh, the final film, were incredible, very powerful. And Emily, Emily, what can I say? A force of nature. I think she's an incredible woman. Her family are incredible. Jim, beautiful man. I had the pleasure of filming Jim and meeting Jim, and what a great character with a great sense of humour too. And I think that her strength and her determination that she's going to help other people. I mean, Louis Body's a really particular, particularly, you know, the type of dementia that he has is kind of, you know, it's tough, all is, but Emily's taken it all on and is trying to go out and really reach out and speak to others and say, look, don't be frightened, come talk to me. She's really decided to build on what's happened to Jim and try and make it into a way that she can help others. She's amazing. It can be very, very difficult because Jim would have always had a wee boy with us and no matter where we went, we had this wee boy. There was no wee boy there. Jim was hallucinating. And when that hallucination stopped, he would actually get quite distressed where the wee boy had gone. So it's very much for the cur for the family, it's learning to, how to actually deal with these situations. You know, at the very first time you, you know, we had the hallucination, you know, people said to, said to us, we have three grandsons, it's the boys he's referring to. But then it dawned on me, it wasn't the boys. And I did a lot of reading. And this is actually something that happens with this form of dementia. They will hallucinate. And it's usually a young child or an animal. Plus they have disturbed sleep, which also means then that you're having disturbed sleep. So it is, it is difficult to live with, but you learn very much to take it day by day. And the fact that we can see people um, with dementia and their family members, um, that whole relationship thing starts to change for some people because for some of those family pe members, they have been um, thrown into a role of care, something they may never have done before. Um, but also for somebody with dementia, to look at this film and see the empowerment that they have, that sense of empowerment, that sense of engagement, and that sense of still wanting to give something back to society. They may be in the position they're in, but they want to let others know that there are ways of getting engaged, ways of doing things that can, can stop that sort of loneliness and that isolation and, and that's hugely important. What they will take away from seeing it is very much, you can live well with dementia, but it is a terminal illness, which sometimes I think people don't realise. This is terminal, so these people are in palliative care. So, it's a case of, it's a journey. And at the beginning, you can live, you really can live well with dementia and things change. But in saying that, even though Jim is in a nursing home at the moment, there's always positives, but it does show the different stages of this disease and just how life-changing it is, not only for the person with dementia, but also for the people who love them and are surrounding them.